The Deyeu Small Scale Industrial and Commercial Energy Storage Battery Series provides users with flexible and scalable solutions for small scale industrial and commercial energy storage. This video introduces the unpacking and installation of GE FL60 and FH60. Please carefully review this statement before installation. Appearance Introduction The external design of the GE FL60 and FH60 cabinets is as shown in the image. The internal design is as shown in the image. The design of the battery modules is as shown in the image. The design of the high voltage box is as shown in the image. This equipment is equipped with a Solar converter, which consists of the following components. Unpacking inspection. Use a claw hammer to lever out the screws and open the packaging. Once levered out, flatten the screws. After removing all the nails, uninstall the top panel and the surrounding panels. Next, remove the two forklift protection boards at the bottom of the cabinet and the four fixing screws, allowing the cabinet to be transported using a forklift. Installation of GE FL60 and FH60. For transportation, use a forklift with a rated load capacity of over 1500 kilograms and ensure the fork length meets the equipment requirements. For lifting, use a 25-ton crane with a boom length of approximately 38.5 meters to 40.5 meters. When installing on the ground, use L-shaped angle steel to secure the bottom of the cabinet. Next, proceed with the installation of the inverter. First, use an M12 wrench to remove the M12 screws on the BESS and then install the inverter. Secure the inverter to the rack by screwing in three screws on each side using a screwdriver to complete the installation. The installation spacing for the parallel connection of products should be arranged according to the following diagram. Circuit connection. The following tools are required before connecting the cables. Insert the key and open the front door. The battery cluster is composed of 12 packs connected in series. The wiring method for GE FL60 and FH60 is as shown in the image. The design of the auxiliary power supply is as shown in the image. The connection method is as shown in the image. When connecting devices in parallel, use the positive and negative power cables to sequentially connect the subsequent battery packs. Then, use an Ethernet cable to connect the HV bout port of the main battery to the HV bin port of the next battery. On the last battery pack, install a 1200 HM RJ45 terminator onto the HV bout port. When connecting the device to the inverter, the negative power line should be connected to PDUP and the negative terminal of the inverter. The positive power line should be connected to the PDUP plus and the negative terminal of the inverter. One end of the communication cable should be connected to the lightning protection communication device through the cabinet, while the other end should be connected to the inverter CAN bus. Activation Product After connecting the cables, connect the MSD. Please turn on the miniature circuit breakers, MCBs for the main power, control, and HVAC systems in sequence. Then, open the air switch, press the start button to turn on the PDU. Finally, turn on the MCB for the BMS. The above is the unpacking and installation process for GE FL60 and FH60. The Deyeu Small Scale Commercial and Industrial Energy Storage Series products can effectively achieve efficient energy storage, scientific operation and maintenance, and reduce electricity expenses. Helping you use energy with assurance, enjoying a comfortable life. Deyeu ESS, making ESS even better.